The Life and Sad Ending of Phoebe Snow Phoebe Ann Lobb was born in New York City in 1950 and raised in a musical household in which Delta Blues, Broadway show tunes, Dixieland jazz, classical music, and folk music recordings were played around the clock. Her father, Merrill Lobb, an exterminator by trade, had an encyclopedic knowledge of American film and theater and was also an avid collector and restorer of antiques. Her mother, Lily Lobb, was a dance teacher who had performed with the Martha Graham Group. She was Jewish. Snow was raised in Teaneck, New Jersey, and graduated from Teaneck High School in 1968. She subsequently attended Shimer College in Mount Carroll, Illinois, but did not graduate. As a student, she carried her prized Martin 0018 acoustic guitar from club to club in Greenwich Village, playing and singing on amateur nights. Her stage name came from an early 1900s fictional advertising character used by Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad. In the railroad's print ads, a young woman dressed all in white emphasized the cleanliness of Lackawanna passenger trains. It was at the Bitter End Club in 1972 that Denny Cordell, co-owner of Shelter Records, was so taken by the singer that he signed her to the label and produced her first recording. She released an eponymous album, Phoebe Snow, in 1974. Featuring guest performances by The Persuasions, Zoot Sims, Teddy Wilson, David Bromberg, and Dave Mason, Snow's album went on to sell more than a million copies in the United States and became one of the most acclaimed recordings that year. The album spawned a top 5 1975 single on the Billboard Hot 100 with Poetry Man and was itself a top 5 album in Billboard, for which she received a nomination for the Grammy Award for Best New Artist. The cover of Rolling Stone magazine followed while she performed as the opening act for tours by Jackson Brown and Paul Simon. The same year, 1975, also brought the first of several appearances as a musical guest on Saturday Night Live, on which Snow performed both solo and in duets with Simon and Linda Ronstadt. During the 1975 appearance, she was seven months pregnant with her daughter, Valerie. Her backup vocal is heard on Simon's hit song 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, along with Valerie Simpson and Patty Austin, from 1975. Both Gone at Last and 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover appear on Simon's Grammy-winning 1975 album Still Crazy After All These Years. Legal battles took place between Snow and Shelter Records. Snow ended up signed to Columbia Records. Her second album, Second Childhood appeared in 1976, produced by Phil Ramone. It was jazzier and more introspective, and was an RIAA certified gold album for Snow, with the gold album awarded on July 9, 1976. She moved to a more rock-oriented sound for It Looks Like Snow, released later in 1976 with David Robinson producing. 1977 saw Never Letting Go, again with Ramone while 1978's Against the Grain was helmed by Barry Beckett. After that, Snow parted ways with Columbia. She would later say that the stress of her parental obligations degraded her ability to make music effectively. In 1979, she toured extensively throughout the U.S. and Canada with noted guitarist Arlen Roth as her lead guitarist and musical director. Her January 1979 cover of the Paul McCartney song Every Night reached number 37 in the UK. In 1981, Snow, then signed with Mirage Records, released Rock Away, recorded with members of Billy Joel's band. It spun off the top 50 hit games. The 1983 Rolling Stone record guide summed up Snow's career so far by saying, One of the most gifted voices of her generation. Phoebe Snow can do just about anything stylistically as well as technically. The question that's still unanswered is how best to channel such talent. Snow spent long periods away from recording, often singing commercial jingles for at and General Foods International Coffees, Salon Selectives, Stouffer's, Hampton Bay Ceiling Fans, 
and others to support herself and her daughter. Snow's voice was also featured on commercials for Cotton Incorporated and their The Fabric of Our Lives campaign in the 1990s. During the 1980s, she also battled her own life-threatening illness. Snow recorded the theme song for the first season of the TV series 9 to 5. Snow also sang the theme song for NBC's A Different World during the show's first season. In 1988, a duet with Dave Mason called Dreams I Dream reached number 11 on the U.S. adult contemporary charts. Snow returned to recording with Something Real in 1989 and gathered a few more hits on the adult contemporary charts. Also, Snow composed Detroit's WDIV-TV Go For It campaign in 1980. She sang Ancient Places, Sacred Lands, composed by Steve Horlick, on Reading Rainbow's 10th episode, The Gift of the Sacred Dog, which was based on the book by Paul Goebel and narrated by actor Michael Ansara. It was shot in Crow Agency, Montana, in 1983. Snow performed in 1989 on stage at Avery Fisher Hall in New York City as part of Our Common Future, a five-hour live television broadcast originating from several countries. In 1990, she contributed a cover version of the Delaney and Bonnie song Get Ourselves Together to the Electra compilation Rubaiyat, which included Earth Wind and Fire guitarist Dick Smith. In 1992, she toured with Donald Fagan's New York Rock and Soul Review and was featured on the group's album recorded live at the Beacon Theater in New York City. Throughout the 1990s, she made numerous appearances on the Howard Stern radio show. She sang live for specials and birthday shows. In 1997, she sang the Roseanne theme song a cappella during the closing moments of the final episode. In 1995, Snow participated in the Wizard of Oz in concert. Dreams come true at the Lincoln Center in New York City, singing a distinctive medley of If I Only Had a Brain, a Heart, the Nerve. In addition, the concert featured performances by Jewel, Joel Gray, Roger Daltrey, and Jackson Brown, among others. An album of the concert was released on compact disc on Rhino Records as catalog number R272405. Snow joined with the pop group Zap Mama, who recorded its own version of Snow's Poetry Man in an impromptu duet on the PBS series Sessions at West 54th. Hawaiian girl group Na Leo Pili Mehana also had a hit on the adult contemporary chart in 1999 with its cover version of Poetry Man. In May 1998, Snow received the Cultural Achievement Award from New York City Mayor Rudolph Giuliani. She was also the recipient of a Don Kirshner Rock Award, several Playboy Music Poll Awards, New York Music Awards, and the Clio Award. In 2003, Snow released her album Natural Wonder on Eagle Records, containing 10 original tracks, her first original material in 14 years. Snow performed at Howard Stern's wedding in 2008 and made a special appearance in the film Noah's Ark, jumping the broom as herself. Some of her music was also featured on the soundtrack of the film. Her live album featured many of her hits as well as a cover of Peace of My Heart. Between 1975 and 1978 Snow was married to Phil Kearns. She had a daughter, Valerie Rose, who was born with severe brain damage. Snow resolved not to institutionalize Valerie and cared for her at home until Valerie died on March 19, 2007, at the age of 31. Snow's efforts to care for Valerie nearly ended her career. She continued to take voice lessons, and she studied opera informally. Phoebe Snow suffered a cerebral hemorrhage on January 19, 2010, and slipped into a coma, enduring bouts of blood clots, pneumonia, and congestive heart failure. She died on April 26, 2011, at age 60 in Edison, New Jersey.